Uh, first off, um, as most of you uh, probably know, um, you know, we had a serious injury. Uh, Christian Abercrombie, uh, one of our former players, uh, in a game against Vanderbilt. He's at Tennessee State now. This game against Vanderbilt this weekend uh, suffered a serious injury. So our thoughts and prayers are definitely, you know, with him and of course his family and their team as they go through this, you know, this tough time. We all know that injuries are a big part of our game, but uh, when it touches home like this, uh, you know, it's pretty tough. So of course he still, you know, you can leave a you can leave a program and still be a big part of it. Of course, a lot of friends that are and, and all of us are concerned. But uh, keep your thoughts and prayers with them. This past week, uh, you know, bye week, of course you know bye week's coming up. There's a lot of things you want to get accomplished on bye week. And uh, for us, of course, recruiting was a big part of that. We had a chance to really get out and look at some of our commitments and just kind of look at, you know, uh, you know, hopefully new members for our football team as we go forward. A productive week. It's also a productive week for us to kind of evaluate exactly where we are at this stage of our season. Things we need to change up, you know, we critiqued everything. Personnel, scheme, you know, all those things. So we feel like we have a good handle going into uh, this records game. Injury-wise, of course, that was a big part of it too. So I feel like, you know, hopefully we'll be able to get a few few guys back. Of course, we're not going to talk about those guys yet, but uh, we are getting players back, which should help us an awful lot. Uh, Rutgers has uh, played you know, pretty good football this past week against Indiana. Close game, one score game, right up until the end. So uh, I'm sure they're really excited about playing us. They, you know, beat us here at home last year. Uh, you know, we we're re really able to run the football against us. And just uh, so, of course, I, we're pretty excited about playing and getting back on the football field this week. Take your question. But my, my question, have you reached out to the family? Or? Absolutely. We've reached out to the family. Um, and of course, with, you know, as I say, quite a few of our players still have close relationships, of course, with Kristen. Having, of course, been able to, we're getting second-hand information a little bit, as you can aware of a lot of things, other things are holding <coughs> up in mind right now. But uh, don't know any more than what's been reported as much as anything that, of course, serious injury and He's hanging in there, and we're hoping things are going to work out okay. How do you end up there at Tennessee State? Uh, you know, I think when players decide to go other places, they look around. You pick a school just like you pick a school the first time you come around. Lovey, the this year first true road game coming up on Saturday. Yeah. How do you prepare? You know, you have a lot of new players on the roster. How, how do you prepare those players to uh, get acclimated to that atmosphere? Well, you're right, this is our first true game going on the road. Uh, we, you know, we have a system, a plan for a road game as much as anything. And uh, besides changing uniforms, we, it's not a whole, we have the same routine that we go through, whether it's home or away. So that part doesn't change an awful lot. You know when you go on the road, there's a crowd that you're going to have to deal with. And, uh, but we'll be prepared for that. Uh, it's not, this isn't a new environment for some of our players, a lot of our players. Uh, so there's no more than that. Again, we've been there before. Um, their field's the same size, right? All those things, so none of that, that doesn't change that much. Looking for these programs in year three with their head coach, trying to make progress. What kind of similarities do you see between where you guys are at or how you feel? Well, I, I you know, don't know, no, I just know about ours as much as anything. I know Chris, uh, you know, their, their head football coach and I came in about the same time. Uh, when you're building a program, there's some bumps along the road. Uh, there's a process that you go through. We're going through that process. I know if you just look at their record a little bit, uh, of course, you, you always would like for the record to be better. Uh, so I just know what we're going through, this process as much as anything. You just keep building and staying true to what you believe. Uh, Rich Abs is a heck of a football coach. I know that. And, uh, Big Ten football team, so that's where we're Week's important when you win every week, but as you have two programs kind of in similar stages, what, what do you think you guys? Well, just like you said, every week's important. You know, last game was important. Did everything we could to possibly win it. 
same thing. We go in, it's always about us and how we play. Um, so this is a game we need to, you know, some of the mistakes we made, the improvements that we needed to make from our last game, we need to see that on the field this week. On the field this week. We talked about how we got better, but how you really judge that is being able to get over the hump. Uh, we don't have a Big Ten win, and we need one in the worst one. Love you spoke pretty positively in spite of the loss about the performance against Penn State. Yep. Um, what, though, has been the vibe of the team? Do you have to help them? You know, were they feeling, feeling deflated, and were they sensed that as a springboard to their, their preparation? Our team was disappointed, which you would be, and you want them to be, after any loss that you have here. But after loss or win, you critique how you play. And uh, we've gotten better. We've made progress. I think to a man, we've made progress. So I think our players see that. Now it's about that next step of them taking, you know, you keep setting the bar each week on exactly where you are. I think that's what our team is saying. Uh, but we, we see that if we take care of some things, then you know, we can be a pretty good football team. So that's where we are. Uh, in state, we knew at the time they were a good football team. And I think that's, you know, the last game kind of proved that a little bit. So that's where we're at. Jamal Woods out for a while. What have you seen about the depth options behind him? Well, uh, you know, the depth is, uh, you know, when you lose a – first off, Jamal Woods was playing good football. He, you know, you have to, you know, do what's best for the team and off the line. That's what he's done. We played him at both end positions, played the three technique. Seen him – he's a player that really improved a lot from spring practice, fall practices, and, and of course, now. But uh, – Dan Andrews are a part of it. Um, if he can't go, it'll be about the next guy. Eventually, we should, you know, guys like Jamal Milan should come back too. Uh, Larry Depot. So we have some other players, but if they can't go, next guy up. Deion Pay, you know, has been out for a while. He's back now. Tymira Oliver, uh, Calvin Avery, those players will need to step up. Coach, what does this month mean to you guys? It feels like you have a couple tests here with Rutgers and Purdue and Maryland their teams are pretty similar to you guys and a chance for you to show some progress. Well, I, I just don't, you know, for us, you just can't look too far ahead. We just know <coughs> on your statement, uh, we understand the challenge ahead of us this week. You know, it's always tough when you go on the road. Uh, that'll be the case. Two teams that uh, feel like they have to have this game. That's what we're concentrating on as much as anything. And all of our thoughts are going into Rutgers which we've been, after our last game, we, we got into that Rutgers mode then. So to get a chance to see them uh, play this week. Uh, so it's just about this week for us. This is as big a game as we've had in a long time as we see. Going with that week by week mindset, does that fit into some bigger plan though that you have long term for the program? Or? This is what we have for the program, is to improve each week. And right now, the, the one thing that can help our program is to get a win against a Big Ten opponent this week. That's the best we can do right now to help our program. Everything else is kind of taking care of itself. We got a big donation to the facility. The facility, if you've seen it, the walls are coming up. So all those things are happening behind the scenes. What we need to take care of is getting a win on the football team. That's what we can do for our program. Recruiting, going well. But what, what I think what athletes want to see is improvement for us out there. That's what we plan on doing. What changes for Bennett and Nate Blue because they've had kind of a two and a half weeks here? What changes for them is that once they were back in good graces with our team, we put them into the mix, just like everybody else. You know, you start training camp, you have to work yourself in a position where uh, you can help your team win. Do you have the right to help your team win by your play? And that's where they are. I think they all got a few reps last week, as much as anything, and we'll continue. To evaluate them and see if they can get a bigger role. You're getting a chance to make your team, your team through four weeks. Mm -hmm. Was there something that stood out to you that you, know, you see it really kind of good you know, building the rest of this? I mean, there's a lot of, I mean, good things happening with our team. Um, offensively, we, you know, we're scoring more points. We have an opportunity. We see what we can be. We've you know, had success passing the ball really have done a good job offensively running the football. We see where we can go from there. As a team, turnover ratio, something that you can, you know, lay your, 
handled a little bit on what we've done, taking the ball away on the defensive side. There's a lot of good things happening behind the scene, but being able to put everything together, that's what it's about. And for us to play a full start and finish <coughs> a game that uh, we can see positive things happen. That's what we haven't done. That. I guess in the flip side of that, was there something that stood out that we feel like you can you can get correct? So many. So many. So many. Uh, you know, when you when you say you don't finish football games, uh, you know, that in itself kind of tells you an awful lot. Going, I talk about what we've done good on defense side. Uh, uh, offensively. Defense, we need to be able to stop the run better. Last year, Rutgers beat us because they were able to run the football against them. We have to get that corrected uh, as a team. We have to be able to play better, run defense, in order for us to take another step. What specific improvements do you want to see with the run defense? Up, just up front wise, and how good was the time you can help go and help them correct these issues? We say what, I mean, I think it's hard to just say one thing. I mean, as a general rule, when you talk about run defense most of the time, if there's something you don't like, it's an explosive play. Too many big plays. It comes down to that an awful lot. And in, in an article, you'd have big plays. A lot of times, there are missed tackles that are happening. Uh, we're in position a lot of times. We need to be able to make some of those. like to see us tackle better. That's we can start with that. Coach, how big was this by week for getting A.J. Bush back and healthy and ready to go? It's uh, helping an awful lot. You know, when you have a hamstring injury, you know, everybody, you think when there's no pain, that you're ready to go, and you're normally not. And you want players like AJ. Of course, AJ is when he heard it. He heard it on a Saturday, right? Uh, he thought he was ready to go that next Sunday. I mean, the next day. But you have to hold those guys back. These weeks, though, have allowed him to heal up, and he stayed into it. So, again, it, it's just a matter of time before he'll be back up. Well, we added uh, Keaton Myers to the group um, a yep. couple weeks ago. What would what, it been like to get him on campus, and you know, what's he going through? Well, he's going through, Jeremy, you know, typical first time on campus thing. You know, not going through any of the off season. I'm talking about summer workouts, uh, training camp. He's missing an awful lot. Uh, so just getting him acclimated into how we do things. Uh, you know, a practice, you know, class. You just think about all the first, you know, first time things freshmen have to do. But that process has started. You have to get that underway, and that's what's happened. Now it's about getting him bigger, stronger, faster, just teaching him how we do things. And eventually, he's going to be a good football player for us. How much does Joey Bose play a role in kind of getting those freshmen ready? I know that Badarian and Larry were both guys that need to lose a lot of weight, just like you. Yeah. No, I didn't say he needs to lose a lot of weight. Don't put that in there. <laughs> okay. I did not say that, right? But the guys do need to get stronger. And uh, Joey Bose does a great, and our the rest of our spin staff does a great job. That is a part of, uh, you know, what you need to do when you first get here initially is that. And they're in the program right now. Uh, they're, you know, like a sponge when you first get here. It's a lot you don't know. Uh, but, again, full speed ahead with that. We've already seen improvements from them. And normally when you haven't done an, a lot of lifting, you see major gains right away, and that's what we're seeing in all of our young players. Well, the, uh, the team historically have, has a, has, doesn't have a winning record in games coming out of buys. Obviously, there's the benefit of recovery and, and evaluation and all that stuff. But is there a particular challenge of playing after two weeks of rest? Well, I and didn't know that. And to me, that doesn't mean that. That doesn't count real well. Um, I think if you're banged up a little bit and you get a bye, that's got to be a good thing. I think if you have played a few games and you get a chance to uh, – to evaluate some things that that uh, you've done, that's got to be a good thing. So I don't know what the history is. I wouldn't say that that's necessarily been our history, you know, on teams that I've been with. And even if it had been, what we're planning on doing now is, is we've made improvements during that bye week, and we should see a better product. That's what we're going to go with. Have you made some changes or a lot of changes between last game? And I mean, how to answer that, Bob? Some, well, how's that? Some. <laughs> some. All right. And I mean, it's hard to say how many. You know, Bob, each week we make changes. Sure. And uh, we've had a long, longer period of time to look at some things. So there are some changes. I will say that. There are some changes. 
major. You've got to be careful about saying major, but there are changes that uh, we've made, absolutely. Anything else for Coach? Thank you. Uh, I see Coach Smith, all players here in the back. <coughs>